Hi guys, so today I have a video for you. It'll probably be pretty quick because I just have a couple of uh, die sets I want to work with and make uh, what you saw the intro. Just like a little bag. Um, very Valentine inspired kind of thing. Excuse so, me. my goodness. So, um, these are the two items I'll be trying out today. Uh, I have picked these up both from HSN. This is an auto ship with Diamond Press, and then this is something I picked up probably last year. I don't know that it's available right now. It's not an HSN. So, this is the Anna Griffin. Um, Enchanted 3D concentric dies, their hearts, and then these this uh, diamond press uh, again auto ship that came in that's not available on HSN yet. The love you more. Um, I don't remember if this is the last of the sentiments or the one before it because I think I have spring set and I don't remember which one came first. So I haven't tried out either one because they're not available on HSN. But I do want to do this quick little craft. So uh, whatever I can link that might be some of the other basic items I'll be using. I'll link in the description box. Those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. I actually came across a few of these things because I'm trying to clean up my craft room. I have an opportunity coming up where it's going to be very exciting. It'll be very fun, something different. But I need to clean up my craft room too. <laughs> so I'm getting uh, working on that. But um, keep an eye out. Hopefully it works out and I'll let you know more about that very soon. But for right now, what I want to do is use like this guy and probably this one and this one. What we're gonna do is this outer one. I was thinking about making like a shaped card, and I thought, oh, how about a little treat kind of thing? That'd be cute. So we're gonna cut this guy out twice. We're gonna make some little side pieces that we're gonna glue in later. Um, somehow, I'll just measure that, and then we'll glue something in. And then um, we'll have this guy to top that, and then this guy to top that, and then a sentiment from this set. I thought that would be cute. So let me show you real quick some of the inspo here. Uh, I want to say Anna brought out some other heart ones, maybe for this year. Or whatever heart things you have. Obviously, these are from my stash, so I guess this is kind of start from stashed for today's video. Uh, just things I had. So, uh, let's see. Let me grab some papers. I thought I had some that I can just pull here, but there's not enough of the red. So I'm going to grab a couple, um, like a sheet of red, because I want this to be red. Maybe this will be white. Yeah. And then this guy. Hmm, maybe this guy should be white, so this is more doily-ish. And then this guy can just be like an accent color. Let's see. I'll be right see, back, I though. came across this beautiful tonic paper, and I was like, but you know what? It's fancier than I would want. I want this to be kind of playful. It's a very pretty red, so maybe we'll do our lettering with that. I don't know. But for now, I have this chili red, which is one of my all-time favorite reds from um, Tonic. Or really any company. And it's such a pretty color. So I want two of these, so I'll just simply cut one out and one on the other side. I'm going to try to preserve my paper a little bit as much as I can because maybe I can make the little handle from this piece, you know? So I'm just going to, right now, cut straight up here because maybe that'll help me make a handle. Maybe the side pieces, I don't know. Maybe those pieces will come from here. But either way, I'll cut one here and then I'll turn this and tuck it in as much as I can and cut another one. So we have two of the base. Um, this is the pink I chose. It's actually the back side of this uh, diamond press paper. And I'm going to go with this one. Just cut that guy out. And, you know, with the embossing, whatever your machine needs to do to get that embossing, go for it. You know, with cleaning up my craft room and putting some things, I want my desk to be used in a different way than what I have right now because I just kind of work in this space here, which is fine. It's like 24 inches by however deep. I have a machine in front of me. I have my marquee in front of me, my uh, Platinum 6. On the right over here, I have like a little case that just holds different things. Um, I took the baskets and things from, you know, just... I just have things around, right, where I can grab stuff. Um, and then on the other side, I have a, a cricket that I never turn on. I have an empress that I never turn on. I have a Gemini Junior that I never turn on. So I think I'm going to get rid of, not get rid of, like, sell, but just put them somewhere else, like, off of my table, because I don't use them. I actually have things on top of them, the empress and the junior. So I'm going to take them off, rearrange things in a different way, and maybe put myself in the middle of the table, so then I have all these different things with a cricket still in the back corner so that way if I cut something out it'll just go off there and I can still use that space but I'll it's gonna be much better that's all I'm gonna say so hopefully I get that going probably in the next few days here because I need to get this going so that I can feel better about the space also what I'm doing <laughs> so anyway these are things that are in my mind right now guys you're probably gonna see a lot of things from my stash coming out making videos because I'm going to be uncovering lots of fun things. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to run these through again with whatever your embossing um, sandwich might be. Uh, if you're going to get this in the 
marquee, I would put a piece of craft foam. Some people just put two pieces of cardstock and then run it through. The foam is more forgiving and it'll push up into the uh, paper for you. I feel like if you have two heavyweight papers, it might be a little hard, especially because these are yeah, a little bit thicker dies already. Um, that will fit. I don't know if the largest one would fit in something like the marquee, but I haven't given a measure. So about five by five and three quarters. So the five inches wide is going to be a problem for that. Um, it's not going to work. <laughs> so I will be right back. You know, with my Anna Griffin, I've just been using the Hello Hobby machine from uh, Walmart. One thing is I've noticed it hasn't been embossing as well. So what I do is I just put a, literally a thin piece of paper. It's like typing paper or printer paper. Um, it's really from the Spellbinders craft mat um, like to work on and it helps out so now I have my embossing it was just doing it very lightly and I was like huh that's interesting so I don't know over time it just kind of compressed or something okay I'll be right back so simply I'm just gonna layer these guys up I was thinking about cutting them out of felt you know that'd be really cute but these are very delicate and I don't think the felt would take it now if you want to try it I would say use firm felt the kind that's like really stiff um, the soft stuff is just going to want to fall apart and it's not gonna be super great but, um, you know, if you have hearts that are a little more, or a little less delicate, and it, it might be okay, because really it's just this part, you know, that's kind of eyelet-ish. Um, I was just thinking, I'm all cleaning up and doing whatever, I'm like, where is my Spellbinders brushy? I don't know. Not here. Okay, so these guys are our base piece, and basically they're going to get stuck together wrong side to wrong side, so it looks nice on both sides. We can deal with that in just a minute. I'm just going to glue this guy down, and he is very right on the edge, isn't it? Oh, and you know what? Should we put the strap? No, I guess they go inside. I mean, I would strap it in from this here area, but on the back side, I'm not making the back the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that down. If I was putting a mat layer on both sides, I would probably put my little strap in there and then let it go around. Uh, doo -doo, just to be more secure. Now, of course, we could do stapling and make it look cute. Oh my gosh, how about like some fun ribbon or a seam binding, something like that to make it look a little more artsy, you know, depending on what you're doing with your, your little heart, that'd be really lovely. Um, and then this guy is gonna go in here. Super classic red, white, pinks because I'm not very creative. <laughs> uh, no, I like that classic color. I was looking at some of the other things. I'm like, oh, maybe some shiny pink too, but it's okay. I want it to be pretty sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that down, and I think, let me put something on top of this so I'm not holding it the whole time. I left the edge a little bit up because I like that look, so it looks kind of flouncier, I don't know. Let's put that there. Let's put something on top. Actually, I'm going to use this in a minute, but it's okay. Um, we have like Be Mine, Missing You, XOXO. That one's always cute. Happy Love Day. I mean, there's Hugs and Kisses. I love this set. <laughs> I really like you. Look, that's a nice one. All My Love, Forever and Always, XOXO. Uh, hugs and Kisses. Happy Galentine's Day, which we love. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think I'm just going to go with the XOXO but they're all really, really cute sentiments. And should we try it from the red? Just, we'll see. Something like this. So I'm just gonna run that guy through while the other piece is kind of setting up. And I will be right back. And obviously cut super nice. All good. Now you can cut it out a couple times if you want it to be sturdier and kind of stand up a little bit or whatever is it you would want for your project stand out a little bit. Um, it definitely has large enough areas that if you have, you know, like those Annie Griffin dimensionals, it would definitely fit under there. You can pop that up. That's very cute. I'm going pretty basic today, guys. I want it to be kind of a cute, quick project. So I love that. Of course, any of those sentiments would really work. I do love the idea of cutting a few out, though, and having a little dimension. But this is what we're doing right now. Oh, maybe some twine or something cute to add a little something else, but let's see here. Okay. And then, let's stick this back over here. This is my leftover paper here. So, what I want to know is about how high is this that I can put something and it'll still look cute. I would say, you know what I'm saying, it starts curving. Um... 
Uh, let's see, what am I doing? <laughs> Measuring with some word. Three and a half inches. So let's say three and a quarter inch strips and maybe half inch on either side. Now, do you want it gusseted? If you want it gusseted, you can definitely make more of a boxy shape from it. Um, might like a V shape. Um, I'm just gonna make little strips on either side. So this looks like it might be okay. It's a good area to recycle or to use. So let's move this over and let's cut this piece about an inch wide. Just have an, uh, yeah, about an inch wide. Just have a nice strip. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that was eyeballed really well because of and. Um, I don't know if I'll have enough for three quarters of an inch. How big is this? Let's see. It's six inches? Okay, so I'm just going to cut this at three on either side, and that's okay. I just want something so you can actually pop something in there. And I'm going to score these at half an inch. Now, of course, I can do these on here because it's my paper trimmer. I should keep this paper trimmer in my basic supplies because I'm basically using this thing all the time. I love it. Okay, so I'll do the same thing with this other one, just half inch. While this is still out here, I'm just going to use this and what an inch. Oh, we can also double it up if we wanted to, but let's say an inch strip. Would an inch look good? Let's see. Yeah, something not too big, but at the same time, it needs to hold <laughs> this stuff together. So an inch. Uh, I'll keep this whole strip just because if we have more to glue down that'd be sturdier so I'm going to leave that just the way it is. So that means it's um, 11 inches tall. And it came from an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. And we're just going to bring it home guys. So <laughs> here we go. Um, this is so cute. Again we could do this with ribbon so it's flouncier but basically I'm going to put this here and here. So let me just show you what I'm thinking. And it's way down at the bottom, and this is kind of, again, not gusseted, so it's just a little kind of pocket. You can still pop things in because of how, oh, why did I do that? I'm like ready to go <laughs> on both sides. That's okay. Um, so let's just put this like here, right around the edge. Um, this one I'll only put glue on the one side to not be so silly. And like about here. Now, if you want them to meet up, can I move this one? Yeah. Just so that whatever you put in there doesn't really just like fall out, <laughs> right? Don't want that. Okay, that one's already gonna help this one stay down, yep. And what I'm going to do is put some glue on this other one. Not on the inside, because we don't want that glue in there. And not here. Actually, that part doesn't matter. And that was the wrong side, so the wrong side on this one too. I'm going to score this a little better. I just scored it with my hands and I really want it to stay sharp and flat. So I'm just going to do that. Clearly you'd want to do that before you have glue on the thing, but there we go. Okay, and wrong side. And you could have put one of the straps in already, or both of them. I just wanted them out of the way while I do this, so I'm not going to worry about that till I get here. So I'm just going to hold this for a second. And you already know I'm probably just going to put some weight on it and sit and wait just a little bit while I kind of clean up and do some other things. So let's put this down on here and this heavier machine. And I'll be back. Let's see what we have here. Okay, if you did this with felt, it would be softer, flouncier, it would have more give than just, you know, obviously cardstock. But, and unfortunately right now, I don't think I have any Valentine candy yet. But, um, obviously it just opened up right there, so you can pop things in here, and that bottom piece is going to keep things from popping out. I'm not going to manipulate it too much right now, because, again, the glue is still wet. But you can imagine if you had, I don't know, <laughs> something cute to pop in here. Uh, I'm trying to grab something that would make sense. Nothing here really does, <laughs> but I just want to show you, you know, obviously, you can, oh, the cute little pencils and some candies, that'd be really cute, especially for like a kid's classroom or something. Whatever it is, I just wanted to show you that. And then this guy, and you can, you know, if you want to line it with the pink too to echo that and make it a little sturdier, I'm thinking something quick. I know whenever they would do something like this um, 
with the kids, it would make a really big heart, right? Because they all have that little Valentine's coming in. And they would just staple it. Um, so, that's something to think about. I'm going to definitely glue this down. And look how cute and sweet that is. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Okay. So, I'm going to put glue on this side. And kind of in that V shape, just in case. I mean, that's a good amount, right? Maybe two, three inches there. And I'm looking right dead center, where it kind of has that little V shape there. That looks really good. And we can take care of one side at a time, or, you know, we can put them both and then just press down. So, there we go. And then on this side, of course, we're putting it on, again, the opposite side here. And that looks pretty centered, but I will definitely look at the front just to make sure they're basically the same. Cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to hold that. And then we'll come back and see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so cute. And of course, I'm not going <laughs> to put too much weight with our wet tape or, or wet tape with glue. But look at that. And then you just put your cute little treats in there. Looks super cute. It looks like a little old school, like Victorian purse or something, you know. Um, again, I had mentioned, you know, if you want to bring in some other things, obviously there's lots of things to do. But maybe I'll make like a little bow. Oh, should we make a finger bow? I should have not cut that yet. Let's see if I have enough for finger bow. I have a whole video on this, just this. So you're going to go over your finger, your index. Um, you know, up and around your middle finger, over the index finger again, up around the middle, and I think I have enough to do this. So then you cross everything, you push it all the way through, and then you just bring it in here to make so your... that little loop you just made, just get it up in here, underneath and up, so you're making like a knot. Ah! And just pull it tight. Now I could have readjusted since we started off with this, but that's okay. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. Um, and of course I would trim it down, but like I said, you can actually pull these ends and make it kind of work out. It's just a continuous loop that you saw me make, so there you go. Maybe stick that there, or maybe up here, or maybe just like right here, or you know, whatever it is that you like. Just something else that's very cute. Oh, maybe we'll put it there. I do like it up at top though, but I think this is cute. And since I use this kind of glue, it's going to take a second to set up. But this twine is like cotton, so it'll hold on pretty quick. And there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Just another, you know, start from stash. Basically, everything from my stash, even some of the from little gifts that people had given me. Oh my gosh, as I'm cleaning up, you guys, I'm such I a. Went to reach for this, and I kind of got out of frame. I have a ton of my little. Um, cute um, swap items that you guys had sent. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to keep them out here because uh, we're approaching Valentine's and that's what people sent me, these little Valentine ones from the last time we, I did a swap. So um, I will have them here and we'll pop things in here and there. That'd be really cute. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Uh, images coming up. Sorry. Links in the description box. <laughs> I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.